Alright guys, today we're going to take a look at Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. We're going to take him into Super Battle Road, see how he performs. I got him mostly additionals, some additional equips and full level 10 links. So let's jump in and see how our boy Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta is performing in Super Battle Road. Okay, now Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, he is leading a couple of teams that have uh, really got a bit of help lately. Um, the Super Saiyan 2 category and Resurrected Warriors. Um, Super Saiyan 2, you know, you can run, you can run the uh, the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the tech one. Uh, the Int one's just got his EZA on the Japanese version as well, so that's going to be another addition that's coming to Vegeta's team. Uh, you can see here Vegeta starting off like pretty strong, um, like not really taking too much damage from there. But I mean, after Vegeta supers, he um, is a lot better, right? He's Vegeta's a lot more of a slot two unit, and this is definitely not good catching a super there by uh, by Gohan. See, so just the amount of int um, int attacks that are coming at that first slot just made it absolutely necessary uh, to pop an item first up just then. You know, this is extreme Super Battle Road. It's not uh, just the regular Resurrected Warriors Super Battle Road. Um, I mean, these uh, these enemies that we're fighting in here do not play around. Okay, so uh, the Icarus is still active here and we're above 50% HP. So when we're above 50% HP, it uh, makes a lot of sense to um, to run uh, Freezer in the first spot. Um, Freezer, if he is above 50% um, HP, he is reducing his damage received by 80%. Um, basically, this first encounter right here is going to be the most tricky encounter for the whole thing, right? Because we've got this Gohan that we're fighting who is int. And the team makeup that I've got, like, what, I've got the two Vegetas, I've got the Tech Broly, I've got the Tech Gohan, I've got the Tech Freezer. Um, I, I've got five members of this team here who are Tech. Alright, so, um... I mean, if I if I actually pulled that uh, Angel Angel Freezer, like the recent Dokkan Fest exclusive, you bet your ass I'd be running him, and I'd probably be running him as a leader as well. Um, I kind of just wanted to stick with the two Vegetas though, because uh, it's really just supposed to be a, like a obviously a, a look at Vegeta more than anything, right? Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna stick uh, at just look. Okay, so what have we got? 140k defense there with Vegeta. Um, so that's like that's honestly like that's pretty solid. All right, 140k before he supers. Keep in mind he's raising his defense on super, so you know that's an additional 30% defense after his super attacked. Um, and then he's getting a another defense boost as part of his passive, plus an additional 30% uh, attack and defense uh, when he's super attacking because uh, we've managed to get our boy here more than three orbs. Um, overall though, this team that I've got, it's not really the most cohesive team that you could possibly run. Alright, now this is kind of a bit sketchy here. We've got to rely on LR Broly to take this Gohan out, otherwise... Did we finish Gohan off there? We're attacking Videl, yep. Alright. That's a whew, sigh of relief right there, because the amount of uh, the amount of int attacks that were coming in at that Broly after he would have attacked, I mean, that would have... Uh, even if Gohan didn't... Um, do a super attack there, he just flooded us with normals, that would have been GG right there. Um, so we are just below that 50% HP threshold, but I'm hoping that if I can get these STR orbs with Broly here, then that's going to put us above the 50%, so we're going to get the damage reduction with Freezer, and uh, this should, yeah, we should, we should be right now. 
should be able to get through this one no problemo. Uh, but yeah, basically once we're sort of done with the first fight of, uh, of this uh, Extreme Super Battle Road, uh, it's going to get a fair bit, um, like, it's it's going to get a fair bit uh, easier in terms of, like, you know, we're not going to be going up against uh, enemies who have got type effective on our five tech units right here. Uh, so I'm just going to finish off with uh, with Goku here. He can, he can get the dub on this one. Uh, make sure that uh, Videl goes down. And uh, then we'll head on into the next turn where we have got an AGL and an STR enemy. And uh, what are we looking at? We're about 27% HP. We got Golden Freezer around, so we've got a damage sponge. I think I'm sensing an item coming up here, especially because I can't get supers here. Yeah, not that it really matters too much with Freezer. I mean, he's not sort of giving himself defense on Super or anything like that. Uh, basically, his value is just in his passive. Um, so we'll pop that Android 8. We'll get the heal. We'll get a bit of damage reduction as well. And uh, we're just really going to try and hammer away at that Goten. Because he should go down pretty quickly. And if we can... Um, sort of field off one of these two, then it's just a whole bunch less damage coming in, uh, just one uh, one less uh, slot that can be supered every turn. We'll try and really get rid of that Goten as fast as we can. And, you know, like I said, the amount of tech units that we've got here, he should go down really, really quickly. Um, Broly kind of stealing the show here with his additionals. Um, Broly, LR Tech Broly is absolutely fantastic. I mean, he's still like a bit squishy after he super attacks and even after he gets additionals, but still like, he's really, really good. But really what I want to be doing is getting the two Broly's together. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to do this. I want to get the uh, I want to get two supers with uh, with Broly because he's going to be super effective against all types, and then we're I think we're going to use a Princess Snake here. Nah, nah. Okay, I think we're good. We sh we should be alright. Goku should be. Um, I mean, we've still got the Android Eight active from the last turn. So that should be enough damage reduction to get us through this turn. But, I mean, we'll see how much damage Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta takes um, after he's supered. Um, keep in mind that Vegeta on Super, he is getting his 30% uh, defensive buff. Okay, 72. We can definitely deal with that. And, like, the Android 8's active, so... We don't have anything to worry about at all. Um, okay, so not really the greatest rotation here in terms of what we can do with Vegeta. Vegeta doesn't really link too well with Gohan or Frieza. Uh, I think uh, the only link Vegeta is sharing with uh, Gohan and Frieza would be Fierce Battle. Um, Gohan probably be best if I just stuck him in the first slot and uh, let him get his super attack at least. Uh, if he supers, he's going to be uh, just fine defensively. I don't have to worry about him. Freezer's going to get that damage reduction, and uh, yeah, then I've got uh, I've got Vegeta at the end, and uh, unfortunately getting floated off for rotation, but. Uh, really important that we uh, are able to get at least three orbs with him. Just the, like the buff that you get from having three orbs, it's uh, it like it's really really good. Unless you're going to get those three orbs with him, you're um, yeah you're like you're not doing it right, man. Like if you don't get those, your Vegeta's not really going to look too good. 
Uh, here's an example of a turn where we've got basically like nothing available on the on the key field. So like if we did have uh, Vegeta and we wanted him to attack in the first slot, he wouldn't be able to get those three orbs. So um, I mean we'll pop the we'll pop the Princess Snape here, and uh, we'll lead off with uh, with Broly. I think. Uh, Broly, if he gets super attacked here before he's attacked, he's going to take some damage. Um, but we're going to float Vegeta off again, because this is going to be the um, the double Broly rotation. Unfortunately, I'm not really too happy about having to float him off, but my rotations are... Oh! <sighs> this is going to hurt. 250k, not as bad as what I thought. But he answers back with a 5.1 million attack stat. Um, it's unfortunately it's not super effective against all types because Trunks uh, is not in the Goku's family. We've already killed Goten, but he's still going to do some nice damage and allow Tech Broly to finish that off. All right, nice, nice, nice. So now we're going to go into the final fight, and we've got a Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku and a physical Paikuhan. Um, we're going to get a Dokkan attack as well. And depending on what the key looks like, ah, uh, this doesn't really look too great. I think we're going to have to get the Dokkan attack with Gohan, which definitely isn't making the best use of a Dokkan attack. Um, Gohan's not really, like, he hits like a wet blanket apart from, like, when he uh, when he's allowed to build up, when he builds up, it's a different story. Um, we're gonna pop an item here because Goku at the end there, uh, he's not able to get super attack, and uh, I mean if he's not able to get a super attack, then um, that's just yeah that we're, we're just not gonna do well if our boy Goku doesn't get a super attack at the end there. So need to pop that item. Gohan though, um, getting the Dokkan attack with a 2.2 million attack start. Uh, see, like, imagine if that was STR Broly, and I mean, we've got a Goku's family enemy, and he like just came out swinging with a 5.1 million attack stat right there, and um, like he would, he would almost be able to like one hit this, uh, like this whole, um, this whole phase, man, like. That would that would just be crazy. Um, yeah, but <laughs> Unfo unfortunately, we, uh, we we can't always get it to go like that, and we are supposed to be looking at our boy Vegeta here. Uh, so we're gonna have. Uh, I think we've got the friend on the next rotation with the Brawlies. So, um, oof, first slot is really getting nuked hard there. So I. Th I think I'm just going to pop another item for insurance purposes. Um, I'm thinking here that I really want Goku to go down first, right? Like if I can, if I can get rid of Goku, then there's only one enemy that I've got to deal with, and it shouldn't really be like, shouldn't really be too hard to just deal with Paikuhan on it on his own. So I'm going to do that, and then hopefully all things go well and this Goku doesn't have too much health uh, we should just about be uh, just about be finished with that Goku this turn so I mean we'll see 4.6 wow man I like, STR Broly just absolutely crazy easy a eh? you know he has completely just changed the landscape for extreme type units um, you know he has set a new benchmark this guy I mean, he's raising his attack uh, by his attack and defense by 30% on like 12 key and 18 key. He's getting a minimum of uh, two supers per turn, so there's like 60% to defense. Um, and then he's giving himself defense in his passive now as well. It's just like it's really just crazy what that um, what that brawl is uh, is is capable of, man. But, um, I mean, we're seeing some pretty uh, good numbers by Vegeta here. You know, this is just the um, rainbowed uh, 
This is the Rainbow level 5 Link friend one. He's hitting like 3.2 million attack stats and I mean that's that's solid. Like I'll I'll definitely take that. I'm really really not digging this rotation with uh, Gohan, Vegeta and Freezer. It uh, it really doesn't work too well. Uh, I'd say if Yeah, I mean Look, in all honesty, like Vegeta, he's he's good, but as far as the Resurrected Warriors uh, team goes, as soon as uh, the physical Final Form Angel Freezer came out, uh, he pretty much just replaced that Vegeta unit like outright. You know, the Vegeta unit, when I mean, you can take him into the Super Saiyan 3 EZA uh, Goku, the AGL one. I mean, he's going to be your best um, lead in terms of, like, a Resurrected Warriors category um, lead there. So, I mean, he could definitely find some use there. But um, just with the amount of the amount of power that that um, Final Form Angel Freezer has got, I mean, he's just running laps around this Vegeta at this point. Like, on, honestly. And then, you know, you... You've got two of them. You can transform with one of them. All right, like, whoa. We've, so we've got um, Broly's active skill. So we're probably gonna pop that. Just want to double check. Have a look at uh, Goku here. If look, if Goku here had something for me in a way of defense, I would probably look at stalling. And I'd put this Goku in the first slot. Um, and I'd, I'd honestly, like, I'd float that Broly off, like, I'd, I'd do something like that because this rotation that I've got right now, especially with Broly, um, with, uh, the Tech Broly's active skill, uh, there ain't much surviving here, especially if I get an 18 key super off on Paikuhan first, knowing full well that I've got a 12 key super following up right behind with Broly then that's going to mean that this 18 key super with STR Broly is super effective against all types, which Paikouan, I mean, he's physical anyway, but the 12 key super, which is going to attack both of them, is going to be super effective against all types. So I'm thinking at this stage, like, if there's going to be anybody left standing after Broly has finished attacking here, then they're just going to get insta-killed by the tech one. So... I mean, we, we will see, but this Broly, I mean, he's a different kind of animal. Okay, well, he survived, but uh, he's definitely not surviving here. Alright, so um, anyway, that was, uh, I, feel, I kind of feel like uh, SDR Broly stole the show there. I mean, it's kind of hard for a unit like that not to steal the show. But, I mean, we saw some good things there from Super Saiyan 2 Angel, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Tech Vegeta. Um, I mean, this is Extreme Super Battle Road. It sort of, like, it doesn't get much more um, difficult than Extreme Super Battle Road. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we we got there and uh, we saw some good things from, from our boy. So, I think definitely still, like... Still kind of relevant at least like you can definitely still run him um, I mean if you want to go like a uh, like an extreme type resurrected warriors team then definitely like freezer's gonna be your man um, but uh, I mean if you want to go sort of like more sand type orientated um, then uh, you know don't sleep on that Vegeta because he is um, he can he can still get it done Alright guys, so thanks very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one, peace.